Hello friends, this video on introduction to trigonometry part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Here sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2, we know. Tan 45 is 1. Cos 60 is 2 by root 3 divided by sec 30, 3 by 2. Sorry, sec 30 is 2 by root 3. Yeah, 1 by cos 30. Correct? Plus cos 60 is 1 by 2. Plus cot 45 is 1. Now it is solved. 1 by 2 plus 1. 3 by 2 minus 2 by root 3. Correct? Divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 is again here 3 by 2 minus 2 by root 3. It is plus 3 by 2 minus 2 by root 3 and 3 by 2 plus 2 by root 3. So what we can do here is so this becomes 3 root 3 minus 4 by 2 root 3 divided by 3 root 3 plus 4 by 2 root 3. This cancel. So you get 3 root 3 minus 4 by 3 root 3 plus 4. We want we can rationalize also. To rationalize, we have to divide and multiply by 3 root 3 minus 4. Correct? So, what we get here is this is nothing but 3 root 3 minus 4 whole square you get divided by a square minus b square because a plus b into a minus b. So, this becomes 3 root 3 square minus 4 square. Let's solve this. 3 root 3 square becomes 27 plus 4 square 16 minus 2 into 3 root 3 into 4 that is 2 into 4 8 into 3 24 root 3 by 3 root 3 square is 27 minus 4 square is 16 so we get 43 minus 24 root 3 by 11 and that is my rationalized answer. It is always good to give the rationalized answer and that is what we have done here. We have just put the values of sin 30, tan 45, cos 60, sec 30, cos 18, cos 45 and solved it and gave the rationalized answer. The question says if tan a plus b is equal to root 3 and tan a minus b is equal to 1 by root 3 where a plus b is uh, less than 90 and greater than 0 and a is greater than b also. We have to find a and b. So it is tan a plus b is equal to root. What we can do here? See, we have to find a and b. So instead of root 3, if we can write something in the value of tan here, I can cancel tan tan. So I'll get a plus b is equal to something. Similarly, tan a minus b is equal to 1 by root 3. I can't cancel anything. So I write this in the terms of tan. Thus I can find the value of a plus b. For example, in this case root 3 is nothing but tan 60 degree, we know. And 1 by 3 is nothing but 1 by root 3 is nothing but tan 30 degree. So if we now compare these two equations, what we get right here, a plus b is equal to 60 degree. Why? Because a plus b is 60, tan a plus b is equal to tan 60 and tan a minus b is equal to tan 30. So I write a minus b is equal to 30. If we solve this equation, 2a is equal to 90 degree or you get a is equal to 45 degree and b is equal to if we solve, you get again 15 degree. So this is my correct and it satisfies the condition also a plus b is less than 90 and a is greater than very simple, the only thing is instead of root 3, I have to write something in the value of tan. Instead of 1 by root 3, I have to write something in the value of tan. So that tan a plus b will be equal to tan theta. So I will say a plus b is equal to theta 1. And tan a minus b will be equal to tan theta 2. So I will say a minus b is equal to tan theta, I mean theta 2. So thus we can solve this equation then to get the value of a and b. So we could tell whether the statement is true or false sin a plus b is equal to sin a plus sin b 100 percent law to do this what we can do we can take let's suppose a is equal to 30 degree b is equal to 60 degree 
Why you have taken? Because 30 degree, 60 degree value we know, and we also know 30 plus 60, 90 degree also. So in that case, sine 90 will become sine 30 plus 60. If you see LHS, will become sine 90. That is one. RHS will become sine 30, sine 30 plus sine 60. That is uh, sine 30 is uh, 1 by 2 and root 3 by 2. We add this, this is nothing but root 3 plus 1 by 2. LHS is not equal to RHS. So they are not so. The value of theta increase as theta increase? No. Because we know that theta actually uh, sine follows a curve like this. Sine 0 is 0. 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and then again 1 at the max 1. Again it goes down. So maximum value of sine is 1. It goes down again and the minimum is minus 1. So sine is minus 1 to 1 maximum to minimum. So it, it is not that sine value always increases. It increases and decreases again it decreases and decreases. So it follows a curve like this. So it is also the value of cos theta increase as theta increase. But again in this question, this value of sine theta increases, theta increase, if it is told that theta is between uh, 0 to 90 degree, then this condition is true. Because from 0 to 90, the value of theta, the sine increases as theta increases. This statement is false. The value of cos theta increases, theta increases is false. Even for this range because cos 0 is 1, we see this is 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2. This is the value of cos, cos 0, cos 30, 45, 60, 90. So, we are seeing the value is decreasing instead of increasing. So, the value of cos theta decrease as theta increase from 0 to 90. Sin theta is equal to cos theta for all values of x theta? No. Take any value, sin 0, sin 30, the values are different. Cot A is not defined for theta is equal to 0. Yeah, we know that. Cot 0 is undefined. We know this value. So, table only we can say that cot 0 is undefined. Now, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.